Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Honda Aircraft unveils new Honda Jet Elite S, also Piper supporting unique women's air race classic team, and Merlin Lab raises money to build autonomous King Air Fleet. Happy Friday, you survived the work week. We got a packed episode ahead of the long weekend, so let's go ahead and start with Honda Aircraft Company has unveiled a new and upgraded aircraft, the Honda Jet Elite S. At a virtual product launch event themed Innovation Continues, Elite S. The Honda Jet Elite S features several upgrades that expand operational capability and improve flight operation with an increased maximum takeoff weight of 200 pounds. Customers can now fly up to 120 nautical miles further at a higher payload or take an additional passenger during their typical mission. Additionally, the new avionic features of FAA Datacom and ACARS replace traditional voice commands with text-based messaging to improve the clarity and efficiency of communications. Combined with a newly introduced advanced steering augmentation system, the Elite S further reduces pilot workload and maximizes safety. The Honda Jet Elite S introduces new styling with paint schemes available in gunmetal, Lux Gold, and Deep Sea Blue. These new color options are topped off with a signature Elite S logo. The Honda Jet Elite S has inherited previous aeronautic features, including the over-the-wing engine mount configuration, natural laminar flow, fuselage nose and wing, composite fuselage, and a highly customized avionic suite. The aircraft is powered by the GE Honda Aero Engines HF120 and is certified for single pilot operations. After the break, Boeing to pay at least $17 million to the FAA. I'll tell you why after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Here's why you don't want to mess with the FAA. Boeing will pay at least $17 million in penalties and undertake multiple corrective actions with its production under a settlement agreement with the FAA. The FAA found that the Chicago-based manufacturer installed equipment on 759 Boeing 737 MAX and NG aircraft containing sensors that were not approved for that type of equipment, submitted approximately 178 Boeing 737 MAX aircraft for airworthiness certification when the aircraft potentially had non-conforming slat tracks installed and improperly marked those slat tracks. FAA completes rule establishing pilot record database. 
Despite concerns over possible abuse of the information collected, a new rule from the FAA will enable the sharing of pilot records among employers in an all-electronic database maintained by the agency. The final rule for the pilot records database requires air carriers and certain other operators to report pilots' employment history, training, and qualifications to the database. The rule also requires air carriers and certain operators to review records contained in the database when considering pilots for employment. There is a new Civil Air Patrol National Commander. Brigadier General Edward D. Felka, Civil Air Patrol's National Vice Commander since 2017, is getting yet another promotion, the biggest of his 34 years of service in the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary. On May 21st, CAP's Board of Governors selected Felka to be the volunteer organization's next national commander and CEO. He will assume command on August 26 in a ceremony with Major General Mark Smith, current national commander, CEO. Felka will serve as the organization's top senior leader for the next three years. FAA downgrades Mexican safety rating. The FAA has announced that the government of Mexico does not meet international civil aviation organization safety standards. Based on a reassessment of Mexico's civil aviation authority, the FAA has downgraded Mexico's rating to a Category 2 from Category 1. While the new rating allows Mexican air carriers to continue existing service to the United States, it prohibits any new service and routes. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Piper supporting unique women's air race classic team. Piper is sponsoring a team of dedicated aviators for the 2021 Air Race Classic. The Piper sponsored team named Tres Aviadoras consists of three passionate aviators who seek to inspire and champion women in aviation. This year's race will be an air derby format where participants were able to choose their own five-leg, one-day route. Team members Elise Wheelock, Captain Olga Custodio, and Captain Tammy Jo Schultz will launch their route from Warren, Texas the second week of June. The team will fly a normally aspirated piston-powered Pilot Piper 100i. The oldest of its kind, the Air Race Classic has long been the lead event in women's air racing, with pilots ranging from ages 17 to 90 years old. The diverse group of participants represent a wide range of backgrounds, career groups, and flight experience. Role models like Elise, Tammy Jo, and Olga have each led the charge with their own list of firsts in our industry, said Jackie Carlton, Senior Director of Marketing for Piper Aircraft. I am honored to have the opportunity to participate in this year's air race. I am excited to fly alongside these aviation legends, who are also my role models, said Elise Wheelock, Piper Aircraft Fleet Sales Representative. After these messages, Merlin Lab raises money to build autonomous King Air Fleet. Details after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Merlin Lab has raised $25 million. They raised funding from GV, formerly Google Ventures, and First Round Capital in order to pursue a 55 aircraft partnership with Dynamic Aviation and their King Air Fleet. 
Merlin is reportedly building a certifiable autonomy system for complex fixed-wing aircraft. The company claims to have demonstrated hundreds of autonomous missions on multiple aircraft types, including complex twin turboprop aircraft. Its autonomy platform is aircraft agnostic, focused on onboard autonomy rather than remote piloting, and is destined for a wide variety of public and private sector aircraft. Merlin announced the first public implementation of its technology with a partnership with Dynamic Aviation to automate 55 high-performance King Air platforms that will support a wide range of public and private sector missions. The first aircraft from the partnership is currently in flight trials in Mojave. We're proud to partner with Dynamic to begin the process of moving autonomy from the lab and to the market, said Matthew George, Merlin co-founder and CEO. This deal represents a major commercial milestone, as well as Merlin's commitment to support larger and more complex aircraft. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Era News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.